I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, welcome to another episode of 10 p.m. University. Um, so today we're going to talk about matrices since it's a math week, right? Um, so everyone might have heard about a matrix, um, uh, not the movie matrix. I mean, that's that's a different topic altogether. Um, so a regular matrices, you might have uh, done matrices in your high school. Um, so matrix is a rectangular array, right? On... Um, uh, M, N numbers in the form of rows and columns. What I mean by that, so when you talk about matrices, right, it'd be something like um, we have rows. It's usually in the form of triangular or in the form of this braces, right? And we have numbers, right? Let's say one, two, three, four, right? And so when we talk about this one, this is called as a matrix, right? And now this comprises of um, two rows and two columns, right? So this is two by two, right? And now then we have uh, something like one, two, three, two, three, four, right? And this is something uh, what we call it as uh, um, two by three matrices. That means two rows and three columns, right? So this is a very basic explanation of matrix. Mat matrix is, is a plural form of matrix, right? Um, so usually uh, it's denoted by a capital letters like A, uh, B, C. What I meant by that, you can do something like A equals to one, two, three, four. This is like a, this. If you're someone who came from a programming background, you might understand what an array means, right? It's something like an array, right? So, um, so what we're we gonna do? We're gonna look at the very simpler uh, m matrices. Uh, we're gonna do matrix uh, addition. Uh, we're gonna do matrix subtraction, and we're gonna do uh, matrix multiplication, and then we're gonna look at the real life experience example where we can use matrices, right? Because matrices, because it's very important uh, to know where we use this stuff in real life, right? Otherwise, what's the point of learning something, right? Right? Cool. Okay. So uh, before we uh, jump into the further addition or subtraction, right? I just wanted to uh, cover a few basic terminology. Uh, the first of all, we're gonna. There's something called a uh, row matrix. So the row matrix is something called A equals to one and two three. This is row matrix, and there's something called column matrix, which is something called M one two three. Uh, these are also called vectors, right? This this is called row vector. This is called column uh, vector, right? So this is these are also called vectors, right? Cool. Okay. Then we have. Uh, a zero or null matrix, so which is uh, represented in the form of something like this, zero, 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 right? And then we have a diagonal matrix, so which is something like uh, two, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. So this is called a diagonal matrix, right? Okay, then we have a square matrix, which is something like in the form of a uh, square, uh, which is, you can say, you know, equal number of rows and columns, right? And then we have a, uh, something called a scalar uh, uh, matrix, right? Scalar matrix is a bit different to a diagonal. So the scalar matrix is exactly like diagonal, but the only difference is uh, the diagonal values are uh, similar. Uh, sorry, this is four zero 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 four. So if you, if you can see that, it has a similar value, right, compared to this one where it's different. But rest of the values, uh, which is not in the diagonal positions, they are uh, uh, they are zeros, right? And then we have uh, <clears throat> a unit matrix. Where what does that mean? Is that it's a kind of a square matrix, right? in which every non-diagonal is zero, but every diagonal element is one. So what that means is something like this. Uh, we have one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, right? Sounds good. Okay, now what we're gonna do, and then we have something called rectangle matrices, right? Which is in the form of something like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is called rectangle matrix. 
Okay, so let me uh, clear this boy here. Then we're gonna jump into another option. Right, okay, so we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna do this. Mattresses are pretty interesting, right? I mean, when I was in high school, I used to love mattresses. Um, but as I grow older, I mean, I haven't used much then. Um, then, uh, I, you know, a couple of years ago, I started using in my programming stuff and um, and we'd be surprised to know we can even use uh, uh, mattresses uh, equation or linear equation to track the number of people who've been infected with COVID or not. So I'm going to do a very basic example at the end just to sh uh, demonstrate what I meant by that. So, cool. All right. All right, so we've done this one. Now, we have something called... Now, what we're going to do, uh, there is something called uh, a singular matrix, right? The singular matrix is a regular matrix, right, uh, which has no inverse. And then we have uh, uh, something called uh, uh, symmetric matrix, which is like a square matrix in which... Uh, if it's equal to transpose, right? So I explain what transpose is, just stay tuned with me. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do uh, addition of metrics first, uh, then we're gonna deal with other stuff, right? So let's say we have two uh, uh, matrices, right? So we have A equals to one, two, three, four, and then we have B equals to one, two, uh, sorry, six, seven. Right now, how to perform a uh, hang on. a plus b? So that should be one, two, three, four plus one, two, six, seven. All right. Now, how do you add this one? All right. It's pretty straightforward. Start with this one, right, and then add to one. So one plus one, right, and then take this one two and add two here, two plus two. And take this one, three, and add with this one, three plus six, right? And then take four and add two, seven, four plus seven. So that will be something like two, four, uh, nine, uh, this would be 11, right? This is how you do. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, right? There's nothing uh, fancy with this one. Uh, similarly, you can do uh, matrix subtraction. I'm going to show you. Uh, you. I just wanted to tell you uh, one thing in matrix uh, matrices, uh, especially in addition, A plus B, right, can be uh, considered equal to B plus. Ah, uh, come on, B plus A, right? So this is uh, this works, and this condition is true. But when you reach to the uh, matrix uh, multiplication, it's not the case. It's entirely different. So you, I will tell you what that is. Just a minute. <clears throat> right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Just me clear this off. <laughs> Excuse me. I uh, still got a sore throat. Just the weather is crap. Uh, it's winter in New Zealand. Uh, it's been rainy. Ah, uh, it's a typical winter. If it's not snowy, it's gonna rain. So, <laughs> yeah. A uh, place where I live, uh, we don't get snow at all. So we gonna have to go to because I live in a uh, uh, on a north uh, north island. So, well, we don't get snow where I'm. So, uh, okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? Let's uh, gonna do a matrix uh, subtraction, right? So it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's nothing uh, complicated about it. Uh, so we got two uh, matrices again. So one, two, three, four. We're just gonna make it nice and easy. Right? I don't want. You can uh, add more columns and more rows. That's fine. But I just wanted to make it very simple. So we're gonna do two, three, um, uh, three, four. Right. So let's do a minus b. So that should be equal to one, two, three. Four. Four minus, right? Uh, two, three, three, four. As usual, similar to addition, one minus two, so it will be one minus two, three minus three, two minus three, four minus four. So that should be minus one, minus one. 
zero, zero. Straight and easy, right? There's, there's not much complication there. Uh, it's the easiest way you can uh, subtract. Uh, so you can add, uh, you know, uh, different, uh, so you can add, uh, you know, three columns and, uh, and uh, three rows, three columns and three rows. So, you know, so it will become very uh, easier to do that, right? So, um, right. So one more thing I just wanted to do. So, a minus b equals to a plus. Yeah, this this expression is valid as well, right? So a minus b equals a plus. Remember, braces minus b. Cool. All right. Let me clear this, and then we jump into another topic. <clears throat> Matrix is a it's a it's a huge topic, but I just wanted to make it very short because the the main purpose of uh, this week is just to uh, give you uh, you know basic information about uh, you know the things in mathematics so that you can research in your own free time if you are interested you can you know dig deeper right just to give you an idea and to get you started right it's not a full fledged course on matrices because it's a huge right. Um, there are a lot of courses out there which will teach you, uh, you know, three, four days of stuff, but uh, that's not the purpose of 10 p.m. university. Just to give you enough idea, you know, to before you go to sleep every day. So that's my main uh, purpose of this university is just to uh, educate on a new topic so that, you know, next day when you wake up, you say, oh, yeah, I learned matrices last night. I know a little bit about matrices. I can talk to someone about matrices. You know, I can I can understand now where matrices are used. So that's the whole purpose of our, this university is about, you know, to give you knowledge about everything in the world right because we are too busy being busy every day for entertainment right I'm, I mean I've been guilty of that as well when I was younger I used to waste so much of time watching dancing cats and other stuff you know it doesn't yield any result for me in the long run right because you're making money for someone else right so as humans get more and more educated the we will be a very better place because we will make informed decisions and a lot of things right and the people we choose uh, to elect and kind of stuff, right? That's a different topic altogether. Anyways, sorry I digress. Okay, so what we're we gonna do? Uh, so we're gonna talk about uh, so cool matrix multiplication now, right? Matrix multiplication um, is very uh, uh, very simple, and so we have to be very careful with the matrix multiplication. Right. So to do with the matrix multiplication, uh, you have to understand one thing. Right. I'll give you one scenario here. Uh, so we have a equals two. Right. So we have. Oh, come on. So I don't know why it comes up all the time. Uh, so we have three, four. Oh. And then we have one, four. And then. We have B equals to, uh, <clears throat> so what happens is I'm going to do a minus 1 and 3 and then 2, 1, right? And then we do AB. Is it even possible to do AB first of all? Okay, so let me put it here. 2, 1, 3, 4. One, four, right, and minus one, three, two, one. So how do you do this one? All right, it's pretty straightforward. So what we're gonna do? So we're gonna take this boy here and multiply with this first two times minus one plus minus one times sorry no minus one so what I'm doing is two times one and one times two right and then we go here uh, we do three times one uh, minus one plus uh, four times 
Okay, you know what? Just make it minus one. Just make it minus one. Right? So, and so we go back on minus one, plus four times minus one. Then you're going to do multiply with this one. So that is one times minus one, a plus a four times two, right? And then we have minus, uh, so two times three plus, okay, you know what? I just make it clear. It's too dirty. Sorry about the mess. So I just, I think it's, uh, this is not a good explanation. So we're going to do, we're going to just make it very simple. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, it's not a good explanation. So, okay. All right. So, okay. So we're gonna do. So a equals to uh, one, one, two, three. B equals to. 2, 2, 3, 3. All right. A times B equals to 1, 1, 2. All right. 2, 2, 3, 3. Now, how to do this? It's pretty straightforward. Start from here. 1 times this 2 plus 1 times 3 because this one. Right. You, you take this and you multiply here. 2 times 2 plus this one, 3 times 3. All right, now go to this section. 1 times 2. Now, since see, we have, so how it's happening is we are doing row with the column, right? So you're going to do first row with the first column, then second row with the first column, then you do first row with the second column, second row with the second column, right? So now we are doing, so we have finished uh, the business with the first uh, column of the uh, of the B, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna do uh, deal with now uh, the second column. So we're gonna do uh, one times two plus uh, one times three, one times two plus one times three, right? Now two times two uh, plus three times three, right? So this will become like uh, two plus three, four plus nine, right? two plus three, four plus nine, right? So this is become something like five, uh, this is 13, five, 13, right? That's pretty much, it's pretty straightforward, right? So what I've done, so uh, I have picked uh, the first, uh, so we have uh, two by two uh, matrices on both sides, right? So what, what I've done, I picked the first a row and I multiply it with the first column. Then I pick the second row and multiply it with the first column. See, the first row, right, one time two, and one time plus one time three, two times two plus uh, three times three, right? The first row uh, uh, and second row, I multiply it with the first column. And now we go to the other side where we picked up the first row again and multiply with the second column, right? One times two is one times two plus uh, one times three because we are multiplying individual elements of the row and column and plus adding it right so two times two this is two times two uh, plus three times three because we are uh, because we are dealing with this and we are uh, dealing with this then we're dealing with this and then we're dealing with this right that's how it is it's pretty straightforward right cool i hope that's clear um so uh, just to make it clear, uh, let's do one more, right? Okay, simple one. Let's clear this, and we're gonna do one more. So that's will become more clear for you. Um, you can do uh, different. Um, uh, now the thing is, there's one thing uh, I just wanted to tell you uh, before I do um, the second multiplication. Uh, let me see. in. In regular arithmetic, right, when you do, uh, let's say, A equals to 2, B equals to 3, so when you do A times B, that's 6, and B times, uh, 
A, that's 6 as well, right? But in mat matrix multiplication, right, uh, it's not the case. A times B is not equals to B times A. There's a difference. So let's do um, A times, so let's say A equals to uh, 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's do a simple one, right? And B equals to 2, 2, 2, 2. Right, now let's do A times B. Okay. So let's do A times B. So 1, so you take 1 and multiply. So you take 1 and multiply with 2. Plus, take this and multiply with this. 1 times 2. And down the same. 1 times 2 plus <clears throat> 1 times 2, right? 1 times 2, right? And now the same. 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2. 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2. So this is, what is that? A times B, right? And this will equal to what? 2 plus 2, right? Uh, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, right? So this is 4, 4, 4, 4. Pretty straightforward, right? Cool. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's clear this one, and we're going to talk about another topic. All right. Uh, sometimes it just takes a while to clear. All right, let's clear this. Let's clear this. It's just a bit of a mess. All right. And... All right, so what we're going to do... Uh, there are, there's a, a topic called uh, transpose of matrices, right? Uh, let me clear this one. Now, transpose is a very interesting topic. So, transpose is, is like, um, uh, let me give you an example of transpose. So, we, uh, come on, we have something, we do, uh, uh, come on, let's, let's, so we do transpose like, um, so let's say A, right? A value equals to uh, 2, 4, 5, and 3, 1, 6, right? And now the transpose will become the other way around. It's, it, re it reverses it. So we normally indicate transpose A to the power T. So the rows will become your columns. So that's exactly what transpose does, 2. So this is, this is a row, right? 2, 4, 5. Now it will become column. See, it will become 2, 4, 5, and 3, 1, 6, 3, 1, 6, right? Now, what happens if you do A transpose of transpose? It will become A, right? Now, reverse it again. It will exactly takes you to this one. So, that's pretty straightforward concept. So, in any, um, so that's, uh, uh, that's how it, the transpose works, you know, if you have a row, uh, it will become column. So that's how it's easy to respond, uh, remember, right? So the transpose of a transpose matrix equals to uh, actual matrix, the figure whatever you have, right? So that's that's how the transpose works. And then uh, we have um, um, something called, uh, uh, hang on a second. So now, what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do. Um, right? Is it even possible? So let's say two, four, five, three, one, six. Right, and transpose is what? Two, four, five, one, six. So what happens when you multiply? Is it possible, first of all? Right, so start with this. You multiply with this, you multiply with this. Multiply with this, multiply with this. Multiply with this, multiply with this. Works, right? Multiply with this, multiply, right? So this works. Now, imagine what happens when you have something like this. Two, three, four. 
three, five, six, two, three, four, five. Can you multiply this one? Think about it. So this is the two numbers. Can you multiply this? It is uh, three by uh, three by two uh, matrix. You are multiplying this with uh, two by two. Is it possible? Start with this, right? Start with this, and where will the four will go? So you can't do this one, right? So you need to uh, be uh, pay attention to that because not every uh, matrices you can multiply with each other, right? So um, so similarly, uh, right? So if you reverse the other way around, um, so that's exactly the same result. So you have to so let, let let's say two, three, four, five, right? So you can do this one easily because you start with this. You start with this, 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 right? So we have equal number of um, values we can multiply. So here you have three rows. You're trying to multiply uh, with two rows here, right? So you multiply with two, that's fine, three. Then where will the four you multiply? Similarly, three is a problem here, right? So if it is three, four, right, then it's possible, right? So that's, you need to keep into consideration when you uh, deal with uh, multiplication. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the real example. Uh, so matrices are used in uh, robotics. Uh, it's in used in um, even your 3D diagrams, even in 3D modeling. Uh, it's used in image processing, right? Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a simple uh, example uh, and uh, so this is the credit. Uh, I actually I, I got this idea from one of the YouTuber. Uh, his name, uh, his channel is Todd Trek. So he talks about different matrices. So just big shout out to him. Um, so he talked about zombies example, but I'm gonna talk about uh, COVID. So um, so what we're gonna do? So we're gonna give an example. So it's pretty similar. So I, I would like to give credit to him because uh, he bought this concept. So, you know, it, it's unfair if you don't give credit to someone else, right? Because this is not my idea. So, so yeah. So uh, if you have a chance, do, do check out his videos. Um, uh, it's, it's called Star Trek. Uh, he talks about just, you can Google matrices. So you will get his video. Um, okay. All right. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. And then, so... So what happens, imagine there is a uh, pandemic, since we are having a COVID, so he explained in the form of a zombie, so I'm gonna explain in the form of a COVID, right? So since we are in a COVID crisis, so so imagine we are in a COVID crisis right now, right? So we're, we have a hundred people who are uh, non-COVID and hundred, they are COVID infected, okay? This is a hundred. Uh, non-COVID and 100 COVID. So let's say over a period of a month, right? 20% um, uh, of the people uh, got infected with COVID, right? And uh, so we lost 20% from here, but at the same time, 10% uh, people recovered, right? So 20% of the people got infected and 10% got recovered. So how do you put that in the in the form of an equation? So uh, so we said 0.8, right? Times 100 plus uh, 0.1%, so 0.8%. So these are the humans, uh, non-COVID, non um, sorry, uh, yeah, non-COVID humans and COVID humans, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about um, um, animals, so <laughs> I mean, I don't know the impact of COVID on animals, so I'm going to stick to human beings. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about zombies or other stuff or machines. So, all right. So, 80% uh, of the, uh, the the human population, that's COVID-free. And then 10% uh, out of this 200, uh, we are analyzing only 200 people, right? Uh, this is our data. So, we have uh, 200 people. Um, so, out of 100, so 200, uh, so 80 percent of human population is COVID-free, and then out of COVID, 
100 who were COVID infected, 10% uh, got recovered. So 1% of 100. So this is be uh, equals to what? Uh, this is will be uh, 80 and this will become the 90, right? And uh, in this case, so you're going to have 90% um, of the, uh, come on, 90% of the uh, people of out of 100 who are COVID infected are still COVID infected. But at the same time, uh, you got extra 20% that's got further infected. So you got 20% of that extra infected. So we got 110. So the total will always comes to be 200, right? So now can we write this in a form of a uh, equation, right? Yes, we can. So we have, see, 0 0.8 and 0 0.1, point, let's assume 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, 0 0.2 remains constant. It won't change, right? For And so you're going to put 0 0.8, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and times, you're going to be a vector, that's 100, and this is 100 equals to 90, 100, right? So this is how you write the matrix equation for this one. So you can uh, calculate further, right? What happens after two months if the population gets infected and the other way around? So you can put this in the form of a matrix equation and work out, you know, uh, uh, the number of people infected and number of people recovering. So you can use matrix, uh, you know, linear equation there. So this is one of the example, uh, uh, you know, uh, I took this from that guy on uh, YouTube. He explained it very nicely. Uh, I tried to explain it. Um, I'm not ex as good as him, but I think I did a I, I did a pretty good job. So, right. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the way you can use uh, you know mat uh, matrices. So I I mean so the the main intention is, is to just to give you a context. You know how to use matrix. If you are someone who never used matrix, uh, here you go. So I hope you have learned something. So we talked about. Uh, adding two numbers, and we talked about, uh, sorry, adding two matrices, we talked about uh, subtracting two matrices, we talked about multiplying, right, and we talked about transpose, right, and then we had a look at a real life, uh, closer to real life example, right, uh, of the current situation where we are in. So, yeah, this is all I wanted to uh, talk to you guys today about. Yeah, I mean, if you'll, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, as my topic of today, it's just to, you know, enlighten you guys. I know most of them already know about matrices, right? And you might like, ah, we already know, right? Uh, it just, you know, just to refresh your memory, you know, before you go to sleep, right? It's something good to know, right? If someone, maybe a high school kid comes to you and says, hey, look, can you help me with matrices? Now you know how to do some matrices, right? So it's, it's always good to know stuff, right? You never know when it will come handy for you. So uh, that's uh, because it's good to know different things, you know, rather than restricting to just one topic. It's good, to, you know, it's, I understand that we all are skilled in a specific area. Like I can code, I can code different stuff. I like coding. So I've been doing coding for years. I still code, you know, so technology is my strongest point. Um, uh, whereas in the music and art is my weakest point. But at the same time, I'm keen to know, you know, uh, different people uh, from the music world, uh, you know, different people who were born in 16th century who associated with the music, art, literature, right? Yeah, it's good to know, right? It's it's good to be, you know, because you're living on this planet, a lot of great things has happened on this planet. So, you know, it's good to be aware about this stuff. That's that's all, you know. All right, so uh, enough of <laughs> talking. talking. Um, so thank you so much for you guys for your time today. So, uh, next time we're going to talk about differential equation right so that is something which you're going to use in machine learning if you are doing machine learning so i will talk about different kinds of different equation different different rules and kind of stuff right and then we talk about integration then we'll probably add a couple more topics you know depending upon uh you know the time of the day right cool that's being said uh adios and greetings from new zealand have a good day